welcome to a new video and I'm very excited to show you new tweaks that are working perfectly on the newly jailbroken iPhone 11 Pro Max, which is this one right here. And this iPhone 11 Pro Max is running 13.5, which is the latest iOS. So if you guys haven't done already, please upgrade to 13.5 if you wish to get your uh, newly, uh, your new iPhone working perfectly. Another thing I want to say, and I'm quitting my previous practice, please don't subscribe to my channel if you don't see fit. I'm not gonna ask for subscription. I'm just doing this because I really, really love it. So I'm not doing this for myself, I'm doing this for everyone and I wanna share my enthusiasm because jailbreak community is alive again uh, because the, newly jailbro the new, new jailbreak that's just been released, which is Uncover 5.0.1 now, actually as of today, is live and it's able to jailbreak all iOS devices, including the new newest ones, which is 11, 11 Pro, 11 Pro Max. So let me show you quickly some of the best tweaks currently that are operating on this iOS. Very simple, very neat tweak. I like how it works and it works perfectly fine on iOS 13.5. So this tweak, what it does, it changes your uh, lock screen. So your lock screen might look like this. This is one of the settings. So you can see the time has been moved to the left and you can see the percentage of your battery that's been charged so far and a little app logo. Uh, when you go to the tweak settings, you have many things you can, you can choose from. You can set them to left, right, center, whatever. You don't have to have it bold like I did. I prefer bold, but uh, you can have it uh, compact show battery percentage, which is what I did, as you, as you just saw, and many, many other uh, little uh, perks. So this is April and it's fully free tweak. I highly recommend it. The next one, very nice tweak, very useful, Multiply. I, I hope it, and this is how you read it. Multiply is a tweak which uh, advances your dock on your iPhone. So here it is, you see my dock has five docks in it, but when I swipe to the left, I can see the music playing, or I can even start the music from this, uh, from this uh, place. I scroll it a little bit to the left. I see my battery percentage on my, on my phone and the Apple Watch, and I can also see the uh, weather. So Multipla gives you multiple access to your, to your uh, multiple functionality of your dock. And here you can select which widgets you want to have, here are some basic widgets. You can also have home and activity and um, you can rearrange, rearrange them and you can do multiple things and in customizing, uh, customizing your dock. I'm not gonna go through the, each one of them separately, but you get the picture, multiple. Very nice tweak. About this tweak, but now I'm gonna talk about two in one tweaks and special shout out to the developer Prasa here, who's very welcoming and very helping in whatever requests I had previously. So Instagram Plus enables your and puts your Instagram to, to another level. So you can have all sorts of uh, customizations. I've already shown about this. You can copy the caption text. You can have the confirmation whether you post, whether you like some posts or not. Maybe you did it by mistake. So it's gonna, you can hide the sponsor text, etc. You can download videos. <laughs> you can see the messages anonymously. A lot of things and most importantly why I install it since I'm currently living in a country which does not support Instagram music I would like to post something with with music to be honest but again if you post it others cannot cannot hear the music so this is the the part about two-in-one tweaks so once you install this the developer based based on, on uh, my request developed another tweak which is called listen to Instagram music so if you guys would like to see what other people are posting from USA, Canada, UK, I don't know, just install Listen to Instagram Music and you don't have to have Instagram Plus. This is a free tweak and it's highly recommended and it works perfectly in iOS 13.5. Quart, very good tweak, uh, a lot of customizations. Just uh, uh, a little warning for everyone. It does not go well with April tweak I just showed. So they're clashing on the, on the lock screen, which kind of makes sense. So either have Quart or have April installed or enabled. So let me go into Quart. It's not free tweak, but it's very much worth your money. 
So this tweak gives you a different look of your, of your uh, notifications once you receive them. You have a lot of things how you can customize your, your lock screen experience. But the main reason why I like it is this. When I, when I send a text, I already tested it, you see, test again. So I'm gonna just lock it. And once the text arrives, you'll see how it, how it looks like. There you go. So as you can see, it has this uh, rounded uh, uh, feel to it, rounded, rounded uh, uh, lock screen experience, and it moves your clock to the left and uh, it numbers your notifications to the right. So this, they take this from the notification center and you can reply by simply swiping to the side, which is, which is great. Let, let's see one more time. How does it feel? Okay, take some time before it, right? Yes, amazing. So this is really cool, nice feel to it, and you can fit many more uh, notifications on your lock screen with Quart. The next tweak is called Groups, and this tweak is amazing for those of us who like iMessage and uh, regular text messaging. So enables what, what the iOS should have already is different groups in your messages, conversations. So the tweak has a very simple uh, settings. You go here and you can have the uh, button style which will be shown on your messages list. I'll show you in a second. Uh, then you can archive your messages. So some old messages, you can put them and it will be uh, under inbox. Then you can have the group names. These are, you can have five groups and these groups are completely customizable. This is by default. I didn't change it for the sake of this video. I'm gonna show you how it works. So the groups, when you go to your messages, I already grouped them. So this is the, uh, you can see the button here, which shows which groups I have here. When I press all messages, everything will be shown immediately. When I press work, then only this message will be shown. I just used a, a random message to show you how it is, how it is grouped. When you go to all messages or inbox, inbox is your archive, basically. I don't have anything here. And, I go back to work, it's, uh, it shows just those people. And you can even send uh, a message to the whole group, which is kind of neat. The main, the main uh, functionality, if you want to send a group message all at once to all of your people who are in your work category or your family category, you just go to the group as I went here to work, and I'm just gonna hold this, and I can type the message, whatever I want, and I send it to all. So this is the biggest and the best uh, functionality of the groups tweak. I want to talk about is called Switcher. And this tweak basically gives you access to some apps which you prefer and you use them more often, but sometimes they're in certain folder, like I use one password for all the time, but it's hidden in this folder utilities. So you just drag from here and you can set up your uh, regularly used uh, apps or tweaks or Cydia or whatever. And you can have multiple windows for this, as you can see. You just slide to the right and it goes away. You slide to the left, it will come out. Very neat. You hold it and you can even move it up or down. So it's pretty, pretty cool tweak to have and I highly recommend it. It's Switcher. Now, the settings of the Switcher is pretty straightforward. So uh, I didn't go to plugins. I don't know what this is, I don't care. Uh, so here are the shortcuts where you set up uh, your shortcuts from uh, to come out from the right side. You can have the recent apps or you can set them up to be the same all the, all the time. And the more you select, you will have those more windows on the side showing up. You can have only five or you can have even more if you want. So this is Switcher. Next one is Jumper. Jumper basically uh, jumps to your apps from the lock screen. And here you can select which apps and how does it work. So let me first go to the lock screen, show you what I mean. So when you have your phone locked, you see here instead of the flashlight and your, and your uh, camera button, you can set, set up different functionalities. Sorry. Okay. So here I have airplane mode, do not disturb, hotspot, whatever. Here I can have different apps again. So you can customize in your, uh, in your uh, settings. Here you select multiple shortcuts or you can have default, whatever. You can select one, two, three. You can select any app you want to jump straight from your lock screen. I think this is re really, really useful 
tweak if you don't want to go to your uh, apps all the time but you prefer and you don't like having those two toggles like like um, camera or the flashlight so i prefer this and you type here and it goes straight to the uh, airplane mode you type it again just you need to hold it a little bit and it will go straight again to the regular one so this is jumper the next very small tweak very cool tweak icon vibe no settings nothing you can just select whether you you want your taptic vibration to be off soft or strong what does it need what does it do sorry so it vibes vibrates once you open an app so it give, you cannot see it now but it gives you a small vibration once you open an app so i like i kind of like it you know so it feels like it gives another another perspective to the apps icon vibe free one is a new one at least for me and it customizes your switcher it's called custom sw custom switcher i suppose so you have many, many options here to customize. You want to have your super tiny uh, switcher. You can have the grid style, like on the iPads. You can have big one, small one, whatever you want. You can show the status bar in switcher. You know, these two things, if you prefer that. You can have uh, animation, zoom in and zoom out. Uh, okay, this is, I guess this is title, not title. Anyway, so this is a, a, a super cool tweak that does this. So you see how, it, how your switcher looks like. So you can have it like this and uh, I like it to be honest it's uh, it's a tweak that it's not free and it's kind of new one so if you want to customize your switcher have a different experience this is especially good for the iPhones with big screens which is uh, iPhone 11 Pro Max so I kind of dig it Would you like your animations to do this or your notifications? See, this is what happens when I get a message. Cool, right? So this is the tweak called notification. Notification tweak uh, is an amazing tweak. It's not free one, but it works really well. And it's kind of very, very extremely cool. So you can have always on display. I don't do it because of the battery, you know, and then you can have it, you can, set it up however you want the most interesting thing is using different animations for your uh, for your uh, device so you can have many animations when you receive a message or any other notification you can have a drop which is I mean, all of them are nice you can have a bell in the middle of the screen or on the on the lock screen once you receive a notification you can have a beam of light for example what else is pretty cool circles I mean, all of them are cool. And DNA loader, if you want, when you receive a message or any other notification, confetti. So these are all different types uh, of notifications. You can have eyes looking at you, right? Kind of scary. Firework, when you receive a message, etc., etc. So th there's pl plenty of uh, customizations in notification. So if, you pr if you're kind of guy that likes to show off in public like this, that notification is a tweak for you tweak that does similar thing uh, quick access to your apps like the switcher you remember switcher I just showed it so there is a pullover uh, pullover tweak which is uh, a new tweak again a very nice one where you can select the different apps which you want to have enabled in a quick mode view so this is a very nice tweak it's not free as well what what's good about it it gives you three day trial so you can play around a little bit and see if it fits you of course you can select which apps will will show here and you can just drag these apps in the middle of the screen and to open it in the in the um, uh, let's say full screen full screen mode and then you again can go back to this so it's kind of cool tweak it works well it takes a little bit of get used to you know but once you get used to it it's kind of cool I don't recommend having these and this together. I believe they will clash after a while. I don't know, something might happen. So, you know, you can take a pick and select which one do you prefer. The next week is pretty cool. It's called Dawn and it has a nice interface as well. So it customizes your notifications and banner, whether you want to have them all dark all the time or by default, so it can switch if you already put your settings like this. You can have your docs dark all the time. You can have your widgets dark. 
uh, notification center buttons, uh, folders, uh, what, whatever. So I have enabled few things, and I don't think you need even the uh, respring, which is cool. So as you can see, my dock is constantly dark, although this is not a dark mode. Uh, my folders are dark, and also, oh, I don't see any difference here. So this is done, very simple tweak, and it's kind of, uh, you know, I, I like, and, and the reason why I installed it, only because of the dock. Because I like having it uh, dark throughout the day, although I wish my, I want my wallpaper to change, whether it's depending on the day, whether it's day or night. So this is done. So I would like to show you one tweak that has to do with Cydia settings for all the nerds like me who like to have whether they have too many sources, too many repos or not. So as you can see when you go to source, it's called installed, sorry, hashtag installed. So it just shows you the number of installed packages from each source, which is for me very useful. Now you go to sources and you can see here for example, that on the first repository, I have nothing installed. So I'm gonna, I might want to check it out and see uh, why do I have this. So maybe I don't need it at all and it slows my device. So basically on each of these repos, you, are, you have this number. So I have from this CP Digital Darkroom, one tweak installed out of 62 uh, existing ones on, on this repo. So it's kind of cool and I might want to, you know, uh, clean this uh, a little bit. Uh, I, I also have some other tweaks like audio recorder. I prefer this one. I like Barmoji, which I showed previously. I like dark keys, which darken my keyboards everywhere throughout my device. Download easy, sorry, download easy, which d downloads all the media from different social media uh, accounts. Then uh, Flame, which adds functionality to Cydia. Gmailer, which adds the uh, push notifications from my Gmail accounts. What else do I have? Quit all, which gives me this nice clear button here so I can remove all the apps in the background. It's a must have. I have tap tap lock, which enables me to uh, lock my device by only double tapping on it. And tweak compatible, which is a cool tweak. It gives you the option to see this little green or white tweak, uh, tick uh, next to each tweak in Cydia to show you whether your uh, whether that specific tweak is compatible or not. That's it for me today, guys. I really hope you like it. As I said in the beginning, do not subscribe. I don't need, I'm not living, I, this is not my job. I just love doing it. If you want to see more tweaks, then you can, you know, it's up to you, I don't mind. Uh, please comment, I enjoy uh, interacting with you guys. Ask me questions, ask about tweaks, suggestions. Uh, etc. I'm happy to answer any of them. If you have any issues with jailbreaking, again, please uh, let me know. I'll be glad uh, to help you out. Enjoy the rest of the day and stay safe.